what is the best way to live your life? What should you be doing with your life? If you think you already know and you're working towards a goal and you're struggling, you can go online and look for advice and a lot of times the advice is very similar. It's advice I've given myself. Work harder, try doing this, try this technique. But in this video, I want to talk about something a little bit more powerful than all of that. Something that is going to make your hard work more enjoyable, more rewarding, and eventually, hopefully, you can find your purpose and work towards it. It's passion. We're going to be discussing the mathematics of passion. With passion, you can do anything, right? Passion is incredibly powerful. And once you find your true passion, your life is going to be better. Most of us go through life day to day you know, we wake up, we have a routine, we eat breakfast, we go to work, we go to school, we come home, we watch TV, we spend some time with our friends and family maybe. We go to bed, we wake up and we do it again. And the days pass and our life goes on and then one day you wake up and you look back and 15 years have passed or 10 years have passed or five years and you think, huh, did I live my life the best way possible? Well, regrets have no place in this video. This video is about hope, it's about opportunity, and it's about how you can change your life. So there are three variables in the passion equation. The first one is one that's very easy to identify. It's asking yourself, what are your motivators? What gets you excited? Now, when, when you ask this question, I want you to ask it with an open mind. Because if you go up to someone and you have a conversation with them and you ask them, what are your passions? What do you really want to do with your life? Many times, their first response is an indication of their motivators. They'll say something like, oh, I really like X, Y, Z, but, and they'll throw in a negative comment indicating how this is really their passion, but they can't pursue it because of, you know, these variables. You don't want to fail even before you try. You want to try. Don't just, don't just give in to failure. So, Keep an open mind when you ask yourself this question. What motivates you, right? What is your motivator? What brings you energy? What gets you excited, right? Some people are very excited about graphic design, right? That's a thing that people like. Some people love mathematics. This is a math channel. Some people love physics. Some people love programming. Some people like working with their hands and they hate math. That's okay. You don't have to like what other people like. This is about you and living the best version of your life that you can live. And that's the goal of this video. So find your motivators. What brings you energy? Think about the times in your life when you were most excited. What was that time? Right? What was it? That's all I'm asking. So find your motivators and, and think about it again from an open mind don't don't say oh i really like this but no no for now i'm just asking find your motivators the second question is one that hurts a little bit more and self-acceptance of the answer is important you need to be honest with yourself and ask yourself what are your strengths in other words what are you good at now this is one where a lot of people who are doing something and they're not doing well will immediately think they're not good at that thing. So, for example, if, if you're in a math class and you're not doing well, I don't want to, I don't want I want to emphasize that that doesn't mean you're bad at math, okay? It doesn't mean you're bad at math. 
there, there's, there's a lot to it. It could be the teacher. It could be the period in your life. It, it could be your circumstances. Or it could be you. It could be that you just don't like it, right? It doesn't bring you energy. So you, you can't really find strength in that subject. So think about what you're naturally good at, right? Because people have different skills. And I feel like I'm very, very self-aware of what my skills are and what my weaknesses are. Because I, I can tell you, I'm, I'm really bad at a lot of things. And so once you're honest with yourself, okay, you can kind of identify what you should be doing with your life. But there's more to it. There's more. There's a third variable. There's a third variable we'll talk about shortly. So again, one was motivators, right? What, what brings you joy in the morning? You know, I, I, I once did an interview with Thomas Garrity. He's a mathematician who wrote a great book um, called All the Mathematics You Missed But Need for Graduate School. And he has a video on YouTube. And he always talks about how mathematics brings him joy, right? So that's, that's his motivator, right? The mathematics because it makes him happy, it brings him joy. So find out what gives you energy. Find out what your strengths are. And then the third variable is a little bit deeper. It's a little bit higher up. You have to really think about what your values are. What are your core principles and guiding beliefs? Is it financial freedom? Is it adventure? Is it family? Is it personal growth? Right? What do you really, really care about in life, in the world? Do you want to help the world? Do you want to change the world? You can do anything in this world. Okay, anything. Never let anybody tell you that you can't. Never. And so once you have those, those three variables, you basically put them together and you create passion. You've got your motivators, which bring you energy. You have your strengths, so you're good at it. It brings you energy, and it aligns with your values. Once you discover that, you've found your passion. And here's the great thing. Once you have passion, you can work on becoming unstoppable and working towards your goals. Passion ignites creativity. Think about it. If you're excited about something, and you're good at it, and it aligns with your values, who in the world is gonna stop you, right? Who is gonna stop you? Nobody. It builds perseverance. So when you are working towards your goals and you fail, because you will fail many times, you will get back up off the ground and you will work harder because it is your passion, right? It is your passion. You become invincible once you find your passion and start to pursue it. The key is to find it. And again, be honest with yourself. And the first step is the easiest, right? Find your motivators. I, I don't want to derail, but I remember being in an office one time and I was sitting there with my friend and the teacher was there and the teacher said to the student, well, I like pizza, but I can't do that for a living. Right. So don't, don't do that, <laughs> right? Find your motivator. I mean, pizza is not a, it's kind of a silly example, but find your motivator, find what brings you energy, and then think, okay, that's what I really like. Am I good at it? Is it, is it? is it a strength of yours? Or is it something you feel that you can develop? And then if it aligns with your values, then that can become your passion. I feel like it's really sad because many of us go through life trying to find out what we really like, what, what do we really want to do with our lives? And an unfortunate reality, or maybe fortunate, and I'll talk about why, is that we all need to work, right? We need some form of income to live because it costs money, right? You have to eat, you have to have a place to live, plus you have to buy math books, <laughs> right? Although fortunately, those aren't very expensive. And maybe order a pizza every once in a while because I like pizza too. Find your passion, find your motivators, find your strengths, identify what really matters, and once you have that, you're invincible. Now, I think most people don't find it because 
I think they, they start with the motivators. They say, I really like this, but then there's reasons that they can't pursue it or can't do it. Those reasons are created by us. We, we create our own excuses. Sometimes those excuses are valid and sometimes they're not. At the end of the day though, the, the key message from this video should be that find out what you really love, think about what you're good at, think about what your values are, what you really care about in life, what you really want to do, put it all together and find your passion. Anyways, that's my advice. If you enjoyed this video, um, I have courses, they're math courses. They're on a website called Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. If you get them, use the links from my website, freemathvids.com or mathsorcerer.com. You can ask me questions there too. Just go to the contact page. You can ask me questions. I have a bunch of books, a bunch of books. Uh, five of them have been error checked. I'll just mention them really briefly here. So Calculus Beta, I read this whole book yesterday, checked it over, it's fixed. It's basically derivatives. Calculus Alpha, it is limits. And then I have two, two algebra books here, Super Powered College Algebra 1 and 2. So I'll leave links in the description. They're all on Amazon. You can just type in the Math Sorcerer on Amazon and you can click my name and you'll see all my books. This is my best book. It's not a math book. This book will help you in life. And it's very related to this video. It'll give you real superpowers that will change your life. And I wrote this book because I think it can help people. And fortunately, it's a pretty good book. So people do like it and it seems to be helping people. So I'll leave a link in the description to this book. And I lowered the price on all my books. So hopefully it's a little more affordable now uh, for people. And there's also eBooks, paperbacks, and hardcovers. In any case, the key takeaway from this video is not my books or courses. It's you, right? It's you and you finding what you want to do with your life, right? What is the best way to live your life? And once you find your passion, right? Once you find up what, what gets you excited in the morning, right? You wake up, you're excited, you're ready to go, right? And then you're good at it. And then you have a purpose, right? It's, it aligns with your values. Everything works out. So yeah, my friends, I hope it's been helpful. Until next time, take care and good luck.